All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. In this video, I'll be going over basically every single little update that Minecraft brought with the 1.16.2 update. So first off right here, we have some accessible features or some features accessibility. So basically two new accessibility settings have been added to help with visual comfort. So distortion effects such as nausea and the nether portal overlay can now be reduced. At lower rates portal, uh, at lower rates, values and nausea effect is replaced with a green overlay as an alternate visualization. Field of view effects shown after speed modifiers are applied and they can now be reduced. As well as chat delay. So chat delay has been added to the chat setting screen. Pressing F3D now clears the pending chat messages. Now, Bastion Remnants. Tweak the Bastion Remnant chest loop. Chest and Bastion Remnants are now more likely to be positioned on top of glided or of gilded uh, blackstone. Now some changes that were made to the blocks. Brewing stands can now be crafted with blackstone. Lanterns and soul lanterns can now be waterlogged. Crimson and wrapped fungus can now be placed on mycelium. Chains can now be placed on in all orientations. And some changes to the items include tools that are now sorted based on material in the creative inventory. Totems of underlying now give the fire resistance status effect for 40 seconds when activated and changes to mobs. So Endermen will no longer place their uh, hell block onto bedrock blocks. That's changed as well as Zoggins can now be leashed when zombified piglin, oh snap, when a zombified piglin is spawned riding a strider, it will now be holding a wrapped fungus on a stick. Oh, there we go. Will now be holding a wrapped fungus on a stick and they removed Hero Brian, guys. <laughs> they finally added that into the patch. All right, some changes for piglins. They added piglin brutes. Uh oh, uh oh. Might die here. So they added piglin brutes, and piglins can now become angry with players who open or destroy a chest minecart. Tweaked bartering loot. So piglin brute. Piglin brutes are stronger versions of piglins that live in the bastions and protect the treasures there. Unlike their cowardly and greedy counterparts, piglin brutes cannot be distracted by gold and aren't afraid of anything. So if you guys are thinking you can just go in there and, you know, guns blazing with full enchanted diamond armor and all that, the piglin brutes won't be afraid. And piglin brutes attack players on site no matter how they are dressed. Piglin brutes wield axes and don't need any armor because they're just that tough. Alright guys, so respawn block positions, basically they uh, modified how the beds are chosen for respawning and respawn anchors are prioritized, uh, cardinal directions over corners, beds are prioritized the side of the bed that the player enters from and then, you know, spaces circling around the foot of the bed and the head of the bed. So basically, whenever a player respawns, they're just going to be facing the block that they respawned at. And villagers. All right, let's see if there's anything important with villagers. Villagers now emit green particles when joining a village, setting a home bed, or acquiring a job site profession. Now, villagers can lose their job sites when changing dimensions. Okay. All right. Let's see some technical some technical updates. All right. Some technical updates include custom worlds now support custom biomes, which is pretty cool. You know, before I'm pretty sure you'd have to download a mod. Let's get inside our house right here. Let's see, sign edit screen are now initialized from existing sign text. They should have no noticeable impact on vanilla. Small improvements on the data and resource pack selection uh, screens. Tags can now have optional entries. So I guess you can change up your tags if you want to. Let's go ahead and cook up this meat because we're a little, you know, <laughs> we only have one hunger missing. All right, let's see. Some commands have changed. Let's see, execute and now respects dimension scaling. Um, let's go to customized world generation. So customized world generation and dimension settings can now be used in the same folder pattern and data packs as other resources. And I'll have a link down in the description for all this uh, stuff that I'm reading to you guys and I'll also display it in the screen so you guys can see and get a good visual. Hopefully some of this food is done for us. We'll scroll back down to dedicated server packet limit. So dedicated servers can now kick clients that consistently send too many packets within a second. It's controlled with the rate limit uh, with the rate limit code and settings and server.properties. The default rate limit means of uh, zero means no limit. So there's some changes to the pack selection screens, the pack version, tags are now replaced, bugs. So there's apparently a total of more than 150 bugs have also been fixed in the release. I haven't really noticed any bugs too bad. Let's see. And you can get the release by just 
uh, opening up the Minecraft launcher for those of you who haven't already. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't do too much in this world and I haven't been in this world in a long time, but I'm planning to come back and peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed.